Hello everyone, my name is Rob and I want to show you today a modification that I did on my Sterling ST151. Um, I bought this mic used at a music store in Pittsburgh and I bought it back home in New York. Um, and the mic looked uh, in a pretty good condition when I got it, actually it still looks the same. Um, this is the SD-151, as you can see, this is a Class A FED, and um, I test one of them at the store, I like the way it sounds, and this one it was used, so I bought it, uh, it was fairly priced, but um, one of the things when I got home was that it was making noise, and actually the sound quality wasn't that good at all. So what happened was is this mic has a ground cable that goes in the grill right here and also in the body. So it's actually two ground wires, one in the um, in the body and one on the grill. And um, I'm going to take it apart to show you guys what I did. I didn't record this before when I bought the mic because um, I didn't have this channel yet and um, now that I opened this channel I thought it was a um, good idea to show you guys what I did with this mic all the recording by the way is made with the same mic um, so I'm gonna remove these two screws in the bottom in order to uh, remove the bottom part of the body so um, I use a uh, Philip uh, number two screwdriver for this, and as you can see, also if you notice, I had this uh, magnetic plate. I like to have uh, used those because it's easier um, to put the screws together, and also so I don't lose them, and I can put everything in order when I do a. Uh, removes a lot of screws from different things that I work on and repair. Um, so you notice that I will be putting them together. Although it's only uh, five screws that I will remove total for uh, this microphone. See, I uh, put it in uh, the plate, keep them together. And um, I'm going to remove the bottom part now so you guys can see how uh, it is, how easy it is. Let's put it on the table so I don't want to drop it. This is the front of the mic, by the way, where you see all the parts on the board. And this is the first um, wire that is um, soldered on the body, as you can see in this picture. And um, I removed, this is the metal piece that holds the bottom part together with the microphone. This is a well-built microphone. What I was uh, uh, amazed was that the wires they used for ground, they were really cheap, bad cables, I mean wires. And um, if you notice those... Um, it's two grounds, one that comes around, you will see in a minute, I will show you. They are connected also with a white um, cable that comes from the diaphragm. So for some reason, when you have um, these cables, you have loose grounds or something, um, they make noise and the, the microphone sounds bad. As you can see, I connect the two cables in the back, the two wires in the back. They were actually connected in the front, and you will see in the picture. See the white cable on the other side? Everything was connected there, and it was about soldering also. So when I saw the other side, it was a line there. I did it on the other side, and it looks cleaner also. So I'm going to proceed now to remove... Um, the grill and um, I use a Philip number zero if I'm not mistaken I can barely see it but um, it's only three screws two in the back there's one there and there's another one on the other side and it's one screw in the front that's the front of the microphone so I um, will remove those three screws and you guys will see the grill 
so because the ground is connected there on the um on the grill and uh keep in mind that um when you do this make sure you very careful with the diaphragm because it's very tight i mean it's if you open it you see the screws are very small and if you open if you remove the grill just do it uh slowly so you don't um hit the diaphragm and uh you know you don't want to break it or things like that if the microphone is uh, working properly as you can see i'm going to remove the third screw one of the things that i like about the magnets uh, plate is that whatever you drop if you're working with a close you see as i did i dropped the screw but at least got stick to the magnet so we just take it out put it back on the plate so at least i won't lose them so that's good you always i would recommend that you always work with a magnet next to you so you don't lose the screws that's the front screw right now So remember, it's two wires, one wire, one ground wire connected on the bottom part of the body and one on the grill. So I proceed to remove this slowly, try not to hit, see what I was um, mentioned before because it's kind of tight, that corner. And that's the, uh, the ground cable um, soldered on the actual um, grill. And that's the last screw, the third screw for the grill. It's just five screw total. And um, I want to show you a picture also, the same way I did with the other, the other one of the soldering. She is actually soldered on the grill, so I redid that one. The K, the wires, um, they were short, a little shorter than the ones that I put. I like to have this wires a little longer in case if I had to do any work with the mic so it's easy to work I don't have to be disordered them unless I really have to remove the whole board and do some major work on the mic but it's a little easier this is the wire that I use um, I'm gonna put the link on the on the description actually this is the white one I bought a couple of rolls uh, I bought a white red and black so i have all three colors i use this wires when i do um guitar pickups and um it fix um uh, electric uh bases and all that stuff this is very good um i'm gonna put back now the microphone so i start um remembering the the position so the two screws in the back it's one there, one on the other side, so that's the back. So if it's one way, as you see the the screw in the front, you have that little notch there, so it just fits in one way, which I thought that was a, nice, a good idea. This microphone is built pretty well. It's, for some reason, like I mentioned before, they put these two wires ground wires, uh, bad quality wires, and uh, also the soldering was bad. Um, so I'm going to proceed to put the screws now. You don't have to do it in the same order I did. First one and the back ones. It's just... Um, I started from the first one in the front, so you can do the back ones first, and it doesn't matter. As long as you hold both the grill and the chassis of the microphone and of course don't drop it so you don't want to um, do any damage um, you're going to notice also why I put the long wire in a minute but before that I'm going to finish with the screws here's the other screw that's the back part, which is two screws in the back. And um, 
because of the long wires, it's a little easier to move around the body and uh, and the chassis. See, that's the third screw. If you have one of these mics, hopefully yours will be okay. But if you have noise and crackling noise and low quality problem problems, I believe it or not, this actually fix it. I didn't record anything like I said before because when I got this, this was a little while ago, and and uh, I should have it done before. But anyway, so this is the, another reason why I like this: the ground cable from the the grill. I like to keep a long cable because it's a little neat, looks better. I think. See, I hide the cable around the chassis. See, it goes around inside the chassis to the other side. And it looks a little neat, so, and of course, like I said before, it's easier to work with. Uh, this is the front, and uh, the microphone has the uh, Polarity uh, logo on the bottom part of the body, and uh, you will see in a second, so I'm going to show you here, see? That's the little logo right there. So that's indicating the front of the mic, which I'm using right now. It's the same mic. I'm recording with the same mic, so I thought you guys want to hear it. And I proceed to put, that's the bottom wire, I mean, for the body. So I just hide it there. It's not going to get pinched or nothing, so it's good. Um, right now... I'm gonna put the whole thing together and um, actually I did this recording after I put the mic all back together so um, the the bottom part you notice it has the two screws but also has a little notch and you see in a minute that goes with the great uh, pieces on, on the sides that's the the notch so you see that's the gray piece here the plastic one and um, that's what uh, keeps it in place. It won't go anywhere. And uh, there you go. I'm going to put the last two screws. And I used the Philip number zero. I don't know why I did that. But it was okay. Still um, tied up the screws. Number two is supposed to be the screwdriver that you use for those. I guess because I had that was the first uh, thing that I grabbed instead of using the number two screwdriver. But um, it was nice and tight. And um, like I said, this is a nice build quality microphone. Um, it sounds pretty good, I think. I like it actually compared with other mics that I actually have that day when I tested at the store I couldn't test this one of course because it was a used mic but anyway here it is my Sterling SD-151 it's a class A fat um, condenser microphone sounds pretty good um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe hit the bell and I hope that you um, learn something from this video thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video